And you are now rocking with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wifey in the G, ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me and D off. I'm still working on my little intro because you know we're not really doing what I used to do. We're talking about whatever we want to talk about, really. Yeah, I'm still working on my little intro. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna naturally come. But this video is about building confidence and having confidence. So y'all already know I'm starting off this video with a fresh face. I just woke up, you guys could tell because I got the chinky eyes right now, but I did my eyebrows, I put a little foundation up there, you know, and I just want to talk about loving yourself and how you can really tell from certain stuff that people post and their captions and even in person when you see somebody and you're having a regular conversation with them, you can just tell they don't have confidence or you can tell that their confidence is all the way up here, you know, and you always want to keep it right in the middle as long as you know that you that girl, feel me? Or that man, or that B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> as long as you know, okay? So I feel like some people naturally have it, and when I say naturally, because since you was a little girl or a little boy, people will constantly tell you, oh, you so pretty, you so gorgeous, you beautiful, or you handsome, you so cute, you know? And all of those words stick until you get older, feel me? So, and there was some people that didn't really get called all of that so they had to build it themselves and tell themselves that they're beautiful and i'm gorgeous and all of that but i feel like a lot of people didn't do that like even though outsiders didn't call them that they never put those words into themselves so it's very easy to have confidence all you have to do is talk to yourself very easy you know like who's the realest of them all you. Right now I'm going to talk to the ones that when you was younger and nobody really called you pretty and all of that, now that you're older, it's on you to put those words into yourself, speak those words into yourself because if you don't, you're just going to forever feel like, damn, I don't got it, I'm not this, I'm not that. And once you're saying all of that, you might think that you're just saying it, but the inner you is listening and they're going to take all, absorb all of that stuff that you're saying and they're going to make sure that every bad thing that you just said about yourself is a fact. So I feel like we still live in a day and age where people don't watch what they say. Like they just say whatever they want and it will cost you. <laughs> It'll come back and haunt you. Like, like somebody would be like, oh, you mad ugly. And you would be like, yes, I am. So you arguing with them or you putting yourself down <laughs> there's no rules to this but in order for you to have confidence you have to start from scratch and realize what is it that you don't like about yourself you're gonna write down on a piece of paper everything that you don't like about yourself you're gonna have to sit down and basically have a test with yourself like like let's just say you write down I don't like my eyes why don't you like your eyes you know like you have to question yourself like what what is it why don't you like it you know nine times out of ten it comes from people telling you like something's wrong with this or something's wrong with that but it's all on you like if you listen to them it's on you the craziest thing about this let's talk about it series that I'm doing y'all could take the advice y'all could listen to what I'm saying but it's all on you like it's up to you to make that change feel me and not a lot of people is ready to make that change and if if you're not ready to make that change then you're gonna stay right there and everything that you think about yourself is gonna stay right in your head and it's gonna linger for as long as it wants until you change it I want to talk about myself real quick it's kind of different for me like I can't I'm gonna tell y'all a little something but like I know y'all gonna be like but how did you build confidence like I said, some people, like, it's naturally in them to have it. And some people, you have to put it in yourself. Feel me? So, I just want to say, when I was younger, I'm saying about three, four years old. Yes, I remember. Um, I don't think I've ever looked in the mirror. Like, I don't think I've ever knew how I looked or, like, 
let's just say I never even knew the words pretty, beautiful. I never knew none of those words for me. I didn't even know it was words. And from three to four years old, I'm guessing preschool, I'm guessing three years old. I remember all of this, by the way. So around three years old, I took some preschool pictures. I don't know where these pictures is at, but three years old, I took school pictures and those pictures came back and I did not know how to smile. Like, I think the pictures was like, I think I was doing something like that and everybody in the house was laughing at me. Like my sisters, my mom, my father, they was like, why you smiled like that? And I'm like, I didn't even know what a smile was. For me, I think I was three turning four because the next year I was going to um, pre-K. So we took those pictures and everything and everybody was laughing at me and that's when I first realized like what is funny like was y'all gonna teach me how to smile or do I have to teach myself how to smile and over the years I feel like my smile developed you know naturally because you laugh you laugh <laughs> I'm gonna put my kindergarten picture up here it's all over the gram that's my favorite baby picture of myself and in that picture I just look overly excited you know just happy and I feel like Confidence narrows down to your personality. Like, if you're not a happy spirit, if you're not happy in this world, if you're not happy for like everything that you're doing, or if you're not happy to just be here, it's going to show. And like I said, it's on you. Like, it's on you to make yourself happy and build that confidence. I don't know where this went, but <laughs> moral of the story, you gotta believe that you're pretty and you're gorgeous and you have a nice nose and you have a nice eyes and you you love your body like it's on you so if you're at this age and you feel like you're not that you take a break from social media because if you want to keep it about a lot of people like y'all be on social media and y'all see other people and y'all just like damn i wish i had this i wish i had that it's not even supposed to be like that you're supposed to look at them and be like they wavy I'm gonna be wavy too. For me, it's very easy. Just switch up your words, switch up the way that you think. <sighs> like, you can't even answer how to have confidence because it's on you. So, that's the answer. Make that list. Even if you like stuff about yourself, make that list, write it down. I have beautiful eyes. I have a nice nose. It's very easy. And just read it to yourself. And that's basically law of attraction. Like you're just telling yourself and then the inside of you is going to obviously listen to it. And the next thing you know, like you glossing. Like it's like, damn, like I'm glowing. <laughs> I crack myself up. Oh, moral of the story, self-assured self reassurance self 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 like you you're in charge just you don't listen to what anybody else have to say about your body your nose your eyes your face whatever you're in charge make sure that you tell yourself every morning that you are that itch for me <laughs> that you that girl like it's on you so i hope i help somebody out I hope I did because some of these questions it can't really be answered like it's just statements like it's on you make sure that you keep yourself on point like and don't say that it's hard I'm not gonna front it was a point of time where I would hear people saying like oh you have to talk to yourself and I would be like what you gotta talk to yourself I'm not talking to myself I was real young like I'm not talking to myself whole time that's the key right there like you have to build that relationship with yourself you and yourself me, myself, and I, you and you against the world, you and you against the demons, you and you against all those little voices, like, you and you, feel me? I can't stress that enough, but, you know, only some will understand, but, you, nah, but, um, yeah, I really hope I helped somebody out. Well, I can't even say, like, I didn't answer it, because I kind of did. To build confidence, you just write your list down, things that you like and things that you don't like, do the pros and cons, and the stuff that you don't like, you have to make sure that you find a reason why you don't like it. And if there is a reason, I'm pretty sure that reason does not make sense. And you're just going to look crazy, you know? So, at the end of the day, you're not looking crazy to somebody else. 
this is you and you. Just take that time to yourself. Talk to yourself. I'm happy that I got this video out the way. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I really hope I helped somebody. It sounds all over the place, but you're the key. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna stop that right there and I'm gonna end this video because I feel like I put out a lot of gems. <laughs> a lot of, um, yeah. But can you guys tell that I have confidence? Can I tell you a secret? I never even did that list. Like, I don't like this and I don't like that or I have nice this I have nice that it's just in my head and I'm mentally trained to know that God made me like this and I don't want to change it because like he's the waviest of them all and he made me like this for me like everybody should feel like this it should be a natural thing to have whether somebody called you pretty from young or not so yeah like at the end of the day the most greatest made you and he made you like that that right there should have gave you all the confidence in the world but like i said i really hope i helped somebody with this video it's very different from everybody else's even though i haven't really watched anybody else's i should have right but then again it wouldn't have been raw if i would have watched somebody else's video and got some gems from them you know everything comes from the heart for me like it's basic god talking right now <laughs> to all my muslim friends y'all probably like i stop for why but yeah yeah god talking right now i really hope i help somebody i can't stress that enough how many times i said it but thank you guys so much for watching shout out to me and shout out to let's talk about it and i will definitely get back to you guys comments about what should be next bye